Hey guys, it's Annalise, and happy 2014! It's the new year, I'm so happy! I love the new year, I'm excited 2013's over. I mean, it was a good year, definitely, but I'm ready for this new 2014 year. And I'm ready to make it the best year ever! Like everybody says, and that all goes down the crapper in a couple of months. So, I thought that since New Year's resolutions were so popular at this time, because we're else would they be popular at anyway, I thought I would go over some of the top New Year's resolutions. So I'm getting this list from digitalspy.com. I thought I would Google some New Year's resolutions and this is the best list that I've got. So well, before I start, let me tell you what my New Year's resolution is going to be. So, like everybody and their mother, it's going to be to go to the gym more often, is one of them. Twosies is um, to be happier. Well, I guess I should make that number one. But definitely be happier, see things more positively, um, which I bet is another common one. We'll find out in a second. But I just want to be um, happier with a lot of stuff because even though 2013 was a great year, it was also a very crappy year. It was a very, very, very bad year for me. But it was a good year, because I'm trying to see the light. So, I figured I would see the light in every situation and try to make this 2014 year one of my happier years. And it's an even number, so it's already good for me, because I'm big about numbers and even numbers, and I'm weird like that, so don't judge me. You're already judging me. Let's just get going on this. So, number one on this list is read more books. I have not heard that one before, and let me tell you right now, that's not for me. No. The only books that I read, I've already read. So yeah. I like the series of unfortunate events and Harry Potter. I still have two Harry Potter books to read, so I might add that to my list, but otherwise, Number two, save more money. I, I guess I've heard of that one before. Um, saving more money in the aspect to, to, to buy something? Because that I understand, but if it's just like, save money for a rainy day. Number three, I think, I don't think these are in order of like most likely. I think this is just a list of some but lose weight, I think is the number one New Year's resolution in the history of ever. Losing weight, everybody wants to lose weight and then nobody does it. And I've already set a limit for myself. I know that I'm not gonna start my New Year's resolution until the first of February because I am going on a week long vacation to San Diego, as you guys know, and I am not planning on eating healthy whilst there, sir. I would definitely, um, for losing weight, you have to be motivated, for sure. It's not something that's just gonna happen because you think about it, you actually have to do something about it. And a lot of people don't realize that, and then when they start putting in the work, they're like, LLJK, peace out. If that's your goal, good luck with that, just make sure you stay motivated. Yeah! Oh. Number four. Okay, I just read this, and I was like, red, red core Redecorate, because I'm a freaking idiot. I didn't know this was a resolution. I thought this was more of like a spring cleaning thing. But I guess redecorate is a um, resolution, so... Yeah! You know, you gotta get in that... Tai feng shui. Yeah, feng shui. Get the feng shui going all up in your, your shui. Make it, make it all feng. Five. Okay, this one's stupid. Take better photos. I don't... I'm going on the way. Number, I need two hands for this one. Number six, go traveling. This one I like because the best way to learn and experience life is to see the world that we are provided by us. And we're all blessed to have this beautiful planet that we live on. And we should go see it because I mean, shit, what else are we gonna do? Just sit at home and look at the trees in your front yard? I mean, you can do that as well if you have nice trees. That's, that's fine, do it if you have nice trees. Go see the other nice trees of the world because there's a lot of nice trees. And how do I know that? We wouldn't be alive if there weren't trees because of oxygen. 
Okay, so I'm going through a couple of these and I don't like the next ones. So I'm just choosing ones that I like now. Um, and here's another one. Organized photos, that's definitely one for me once I get my Mac. That'll be so much easier because I can just put on my photo and use the face recognition. Like literally that's the one thing that I want to do is just do face tagging. Because that's how I organize my friggin' photos is by people's faces. And it's difficult to go through every single picture to tag somebody's face. But with the iPhone it really helps you. So hot! So organizing photos on my computer is definitely one of mine. I'm finding more resolutions as I go through this list. Thank you, Digital Spud. Uh, let's see, here's another one. Spend more time with your kids. That's a really good one. Um, and I feel like it's not too hard of something to do. For those of you who have kids, that is. I know kids are definitely rough and tough to have. But, in the end, they are your kids, and this time will matter a lot to them when they are older. Trust me. The amount of stupid resolutions on this list is kind of stupid. And that was... Oh, what the f... Totally revamped my wardrobe. I mean, getting new clothes, like, I don't know. I guess if you have a really bad wardrobe, then go revamp it, girl. Like, do what you need to do, but... The word revamp just bothers me in the center. It's like, less time on Facebook. I feel like that already happened because Facebook kind of went downhill, so yeah. Try a new hairstyle. Um, that's a, eh, I, I feel like I'm ex I, I have a different understanding of the word resolution. I don't know, I feel like it's, I feel like when you get into the revamp my wardrobe and try new hairstyle and all that crap, it kind of goes into the try new things category, and which is kind of like a vaguer, vaguer, that's a word, more vague realm of a resolution, so that way you can get more done, and then if you forget something, then you can just say, hey, because it's being vague and it's a fine thing. So therefore, you can really meet your resolution without actually doing it. Loophole. Drinkless alcohol. Definitely a good one. You can do it! Yeah, alcohol is definitely something that hurts your body. And, I mean, if you want to have a glass of wine and beer every once in a while, go for it. I'm not one to drink, but... Yeah, if you're one who drinks it like water, stop. Think about your future. Get a six pack, that's another one that kind of ties into the lose some weight one. That's something everybody wants to do. Let me tell you right now, I'm gonna get my six pack of Pepsi. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be here all night. Tell someone I have feelings for them. Yeah. I don't know, maybe you can turn that into a be honest with yourself and with everybody. Or um, be more. What's the other word for ballsy? Um, gutsy? I don't... Be willing to go get them, tiger. Quit smoking. Another very popular New Year's resolution that everybody who smokes should definitely do. I was at a New Year's Eve party last night and I was shocked on how many people smoked. Like, are you serious? Like, I don't know. Smoking is just so bad. How do you. How does one even get started? Like, I'm just saying from a point of view of where I've never even seen any of that stuff as cool or any of that. Like, I don't understand the even, like, I don't even think there was a point where I even was like, oh, hey, maybe I should try this cancer stick here. No, I don't know. And I'm not hating on people who smoke by any means. Whatever. Live your life. Be free. Peace out. Definitely, your life will be a whole lot better and easier. You'll be able to do activities if you don't smoke because your lungs and stuff and you're not going to be coughing and your teeth and your lungs are going to be yellow and did you not go to elementary school and see those nasty lungs in like fourth grade at a science fair? Like, oh. <laughs> Learn how to use Twitter. Okay, this is my f What? No. Right now. No. Yes. I don't even know. Next, gain in promotion. Definitely, that's an awesome resolution. See, 
I feel, shoot, okay, I don't like the word resolution. I'm turning that into the word goal. I feel like gaining a promotion would definitely be a goal to reach. It would help you in the long term, absolutely. I just, maybe it's just the sentence that's bothering me. But yeah, definitely gaining a promotion is something uh, awesome to hope for for the new year. Work your booty off and you can do it. I believe in you guys. Cut out someone in my life who isn't good for me. I like that because that's definitely a source of unhappiness or stress or depression or anything like that. And I can totally speak from experience where in some cases, yeah, I might hurt you now, but think of in the long run and how much happier you're gonna be when you don't have that kind of cancerous, annoying thing that's just <laughs> that is just annoying and making you sad and miserable and that's the last thing you want, especially in this new year. You want it to be great and you're not gonna let anybody hold you back because you're an independent woman and you can do it. Okay, stop contacting or going back to an ex. Excellent resolution. If you guys broke up for a reason, you think you broke up just to get back together again? No, something obviously didn't work. That's why you guys broke up. Now, unless if it was like something like, oh, oh my God, like you moved to Norway, we have to break up, but now you're back. Then get back together. Cause obviously it wasn't like, it wasn't you, it wasn't him, it was because you were separated by like a bajillion miles, but if you guys broke up for like a serious reason, don't get back together because you broke up for a reason. Hello. There are many fish in the sea. Cliche, cliche, cliche. Cliche, cliche, cliche. You're too good for him anyway. He doesn't even know what he's missing or she doesn't even know what he's missing. I don't know, your guy or girl, whatever you're, whoever, just, they don't know what they're missing. And you're a great person and they should be Friggin' lucky to have you. And the fact that they lost you, they're just stupid. You don't want to be with a stupid person, do you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, this is a this is a kind of scary one. Have a face to face with my boss to find out where I stand. That's definitely not a resolution. That's just like something you need to do if you feel like your job's in jeopardy. Yeah, go work on that. I guess the last one that um I think is a not a common resolution, but something common people want to do for like the new year would be go bungee jumping. But they have it worded weird on here. It says do a bungee jump. I, I feel like people don't say that, but yeah. Go bungee jumping. It's exhilarating. Get your heart pumping. Makes you feel alive. So yeah guys, that was some resolutions for you um, for this new year in 2014. Uh, hopefully you guys have a resolution that we're gonna stick to and we're gonna accomplish it. Yeah, you accomplish resolutions. We're gonna stick to our New Year's resolution so you can become a better you and we're gonna do it. It's gonna be awesome and yeah, let's go. Mm, I'm so pumped up, I'm so pumped up. Let me know in the comment section down below what's your guys' New Year's resolution. Maybe it's one of the ones that I listed off. Maybe it's one of the ones that I didn't list off and you just totally made it up off the top of your head and you're like, this is something I wanna do with 2014. Go ahead and let us know, cause hey, that might be something that somebody else wants to do in their life too. They just haven't thought of it yet. So you're not only helping yourself, but you're helping other people. And we'll keep us motivated together. So with that, I guess um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post videos. I don't post them every day. Um, I don't post them every Friday. I don't have like a schedule. I try to get them up when I can because, yeah. So I will, I, I'm a sprinkle of videos on your YouTube channel and I'm rocking back and forth and I don't know why I'm just excited. Ah, it's 2014, I'm finally here. So I hope everybody has a great 2014. I wish everybody the best in all your endeavors and all your resolutions and all that fun stuff. 2014 is going to be a great year. I can just feel it. I feel it in the soul. So with that, I guess I'll say stay beautiful, have a marvelous day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!